Question we get asked a lot on the channel is how can I add a smart thermostat to an existing wet underfloor central heating system? And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. We're going to replace this sort of say semi dumb uh, thermostat with a smart one that we found from Tardo. Um, and why would we want to do that? Well, obviously to save energy and give us more flexibility when it comes to controlling our heating system. So before we get stuck into uh, actually changing the thermostat, let's have a look at how a wet underfloor central heating system works from the electrical side. We're not going into the world of plumbing today. So this is what's known as the manifold for the underfloor uh, central heating system, a collection of wires and pipes. And at first it can look quite intimidating uh, and scary. I said we weren't gonna do plumbing, but just a little bit. Uh, each room has its own heating circuit, which has a flow and return pipe. So hot water going in one direction and coming back slightly colder because it's heating up the room. Now each room is then controlled by one of these, which is a zone valve. So the thermostats must open or close this to allow heat in and out of the room. So think of it as like a thermostatic radiator valve, but electrically triggered and just fitted to this manifold. Now, wiring comes in lots of different flavors. Uh, for these types of things because you also have to trigger possibly a pump to start the circulation of the water and possibly open some other valves as well. Now in this instance it's controlled by this wiring centre behind me there that's a bit of a rat's nest of wiring. Luckily with the Tardo system we don't have to touch any of these all of our work goes on at the thermostat end. Now which is great because it's a, a simple job. Now this home is also controlled by a nest thermostat controlling one of the other uh, rooms in the house and that's a more complex project to fit because you have the thermostat itself and you also have to fit what's known as the heat link uh, which we've got down here into the wiring center and this heat link also hooks up to the internet and if I was going to fit the nest to every zone in this house I'd need to fit a heat link for every zone which obviously increases complexity and cost. And before we start work replacing this thermostat it's important to safely isolate the power supply to the central heating system We've done that, we've locked it off. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with a safe isolation procedure that you should follow, and that includes all the plumbers out there, I will leave a link in the description for that. But let's get on and get this off the wall and our new Tardo one on. Uh, it is should be a simple process. Now the great thing about the Tardo app is it actually, you can, uh, you can march through the app and match the exact thermostat you're replacing. So it's even told me that the secret to getting this one off is under the cover here just lifts off uh, and now this is um, we know it's a low voltage system fed from the wiring center underneath there but you'll see the display is still lit which might lead you down the route of thinking it's still powered up it is actually a battery powered uh, thermostat and you can see the batteries in there along with a little bit of wildlife that's uh, made its home inside now for the unboxing inside we have the Tardo thermostat some labels to put on the existing installation wiring to remind yourself what they are and then some screws, useful screws, instructions, professional instructions, a bridge to connect this system to the internet to make it smart, a USB power supply and adapters. Obviously we're going to go with the UK one here, so I don't know why I'm even bothering opening the other one. There is a link in the description to all of the products we've used that you can buy via the Tardo website or a well-known online retailer that does next day free delivery. So let's deal with the internet bridge first. I've plugged it in a convenient location underneath this smart TV where there's a internet switch there. Um, that's got lots of uh, spare ethernet ports on it. Um, and because I've done that, I've needed to use the small USB power supply that comes with it. You may not need that if you've got a free USB port that you sometimes find on the back of an internet router that's supplied by your broadband provider. Uh, the bridge itself then creates its own wireless network to communicate with uh, Tardo products. Obviously, we've only got one installed at the moment, but we, if we were to add additional radiator valves and thermostats, you would just need the one bridge. So this is a one time we only ever need to do this. First job is to remove the wires and the back plate from the old thermostat. Now, there's only two wires and they trigger what's called a volt-free contact or sometimes called a dry contact that's in the wiring center next to the manifold. So we just need to pay careful attention where those wires go and match up uh, with this new back plate for the Tardo thermostat. Score through the label there, just to remind you to read the instructions, I'm sure we all do, and attach it to the wall uh, using the, uh, the same screw locations to the back box. The biggest thing I'm worried about here is, are we gonna be able to cover the gap in the wallpaper? You'll see the uh, label above, 
has clearly marked uh, the wiring connections so we need to connect to the same ones as the old thermostat so that's between common and normally open so there is only the two wiring connections in there the other ones are for if you were connecting this to uh, a, a central boiler uh, possibly using some of those new digital protocols just going to have to trim the wires slightly before putting them in the screw terminals and then it's just a case of putting the uh, cover plate back on um, a nice little feature that because it means once that cover plate's on uh, the end user when they're changing the battery uh, doesn't have to uh, get near any of the electrical connections if this was uh, a mains voltage system. We also need to pair the thermostat to the bridge that we fitted to make the system smart and that's a simple process following the instructions that are laid out in the Tado app. Now that was a really simple install process and there's bags of information inside the Tado app for different wiring configurations and different types of thermostat. Now it looks like it's powered up at the minute because we push a button but remember this thermostat itself is battery powered so it won't do anything until we switch that power back on. So we're going to switch on, uh, we'll set this to a temperature and check that the zone valves for the heating system uh, are working. So we're at 10 degrees at the minute, I'm going to turn up the 20 degrees and we expect the valve to open and the pump to start and giving us our underfloor heating under smart control. So great news, the thermostat actually covered the gaps in the wallpaper so we can hardly tell that we've been here. We think it's a pretty good looking unit but with this being an underfloor heating system they take a long time to heat up and change temperature so the chances are you'll probably never really be touching the thermostat itself you'll be setting up automated sequences through the app now when it comes to apps there is lots of options to use this thermostat with you can use the Tado app itself which has got some great features in there and can control all of the products in that ecosystem but these days we'll probably want to integrate with more things in our smart home now we've been able to set this up in apple HomeKit and also google home now we're not going to delve into that too much in this video but 2023 is a big year when it comes to smart home technology because there was something called Matter. Now that's when hopefully all these smart home ecosystems will finally talk together and you'll be able to use Nest products even with Apple HomeKit. Until then, we found this handy little hub from Starling that we're going to check out. And we're also going to look at another video on the Tado radiator valve controls to see if we can add them to this system depending on when you watch that the link for these videos will be here if not make sure you subscribe to the channel so you know when they do come along